Welcome back. Another video, Forgiven Fishing, where it's about more than just fishing. This video is brought to you in part by someone who asked me to do a color. So today I'm going to attempt that. It's Tilapia Magic. Uh, there's several different companies that make it. Uh, some different things that I have here. Of course, I already got my cup of plastisol. I'm going to use watermelon colorant from Lure Works. From what I can gather just by the picture, it's got orange flake in it, black flake in it, orange and black. This one's by Dead On, this one's by the manufacturing company, MF Manufacturing. I have a poly glitter that's silver. This is by Lure Works. And then I have new Nebula mix. This has my purple and blues in it already. So, so from what I could gather just from the picture, it's got orange, blue, purple, or, uh, black, silver. So we're going to see what happens. Now I may this may epically blow up in my face but we'll see we're going to try it just for you Tracy Newman Tracy Newman is the one that asked me to do this so this is my effort at doing so <clears throat> I'm going to do it in the rocket as well aka it looks a lot like the Berkeley Pit Boss so what we're going to do I'm going to add my 40 drops of watermelon colorant to it. Mine, I usually have to run it about four minutes to get it right where I want it. And then I'll add my flake. And then after I add my flake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cup, after I mix the flake in there, I'm going to stick it back in there and get the air bubbles out again before we shoot it. I do that. I've watched several other guys do that. Just want to make sure that we get those bubbles out. Because there ain't nothing worse than bubbles in your mold. It makes you sick to your stomach. All right. 
We got some steamy hot stuff here, boys. So I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of black in there. And then I'm gonna do an eighth teaspoon of the Nubella, which is the blue. An eighth teaspoon of the orange. And then I'm going to do a tiny scoop of the silver. We'll see what happens. It's going to be wild, that's for sure. Alright. So what I need to do, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to put it back in for just a minute longer, get it a little bit more hot. A little hotter. Excuse my illiteracy there. I'm going to get it just a little hotter. <clears throat> Once I get it a little hotter where I want it, I usually shoot for around 350. That's usually the key spot that I'm looking for is 350. So after I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in my little vacuum chainer one more time, get the rest of the air bubbles out. After that, we're gonna shoot and see what happens. So this is tilapia magic. I just hope that I don't fail at it miserably. Cause I'm gonna tell you, that's a lot of glit. There's a lot of flake and tilapia magic just for the record i know some of y'all out there have fished with it i have not but from what i was told in my message is that seems to be the cat's meow on the tour right now so if it is i'm gonna try it out vacuuming one more again all right Temperature's there. We're about to do this. About to do this thing. So, that's what it looks like. Oh, there's a lot of glitter in there. Lots and lots of flake. I hope I don't let you down. I truly hope I don't let you down, Tracy. Top off the old sprue there. Put the old excess back in there. I'm gonna let this cool for a second. I say a second. I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. After it cools, then we're gonna pull it out and see just how close I got. So what I'll do is I'll post a side-by-side -side picture what I'll do is I'll post a side-by-side -side picture to see just how close I got I know there's several different companies that have several different recipes for it so we'll see what happens Stick this back in the microwave. Oh, I hope this looks good. I truly do. I don't want to look like a goober right here on YouTube because I'm sure that somebody out there has probably got a little bit more experience with tilapia magic than I do. This is just based off what I found online to try to get close to what they had, so drum roll. I don't know if you can see it. I 
but that's pretty close. I'll take some pictures of it, see if we can't come up with a better look, but it's hard to tell just based off of this, so I'm going to try to shoot some other different baits just to see, because I got some other molds I'm going to shoot just to see how it turns out in the other one, so we'll see what happens. I hope I didn't fail you, Tracy. I truly hope I didn't fail you. If there's something that looks a little off, hit me up. I'm gonna go back and look at the pictures just to see how close I got. I hope I didn't fail you. But the whole reason that I do these videos, and most of you know that watch them, is I always talk about God in the end, which is the ultimate purpose of me ever starting doing this, because fishing is it's, a, it's basically a hobby that I love to do, but my faith and hope is in Jesus Christ, which is why I take the time to always talk about this in the end. So today's Bible verse, I've been reading through the New Testament a good bit the past few days. And 1 James, 16 do not be deceived my beloved brethren every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning every good thing that's ever happened in your life you might believe that it comes from <clears throat> what you do God when you are first conceived in the womb God's already wrote your story so every good thing that ever happens to you was already put into place by God when he sent his son Jesus to this earth to die for us that was a perfect gift to us because that gives us the option to have salvation just by putting our faith in him surrendering our lives our old ways so that we can follow his will so don't think that everything that good's happened in your life is because you've done something or you know it's a way that you put together by your own hands because i'm going to tell you that is not the truth God blesses everyone in some form or fashion. We go through trials, yes, but the good things that come in our life is also from God. So when you call out to God in the bad times, you need to remember God in the good times. Don't forget that. There's a show I've been watching. Somebody at church brought, kind of put me to go watch it. Or he put the, let me know about it, I should say. It's called The Chosen. If you have not watched that, you really need to go watch it. Because it truly is eye-opening to see how somebody takes the disciples who you think you know, everybody thinks they were good and perfect, but if you go and look at how they were before they started following Jesus, it tells their stories, basically. Y'all, y'all really need to go watch it. I can't express that enough because even reading the Bible, you know, sometimes some people do better by watching something. Go read that or go watch that, I'm sorry. Go watch that, but you need to continue to read the Bible. Always read the Bible. The answer to your life's problems lie in this book right here. You can go get counseling. You can go see kelp. It's 
That's all the help you need right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying don't ever go talk to somebody because it does tell us to do this. But you need to talk to somebody who has the knowledge of the Bible. God puts people in your past to talk to you about things for a reason. I love y'all so much. I thank y'all so much. Remember to smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I read Tracy's comment. That's what stemmed this whole video. I always read the comments. I always try to respond. If there's anything y'all need, hit me up. But until then, stay tuned for the next video. I love y'all. Thank y'all. God bless.